Voltage drop testing can be one of the simplest and most effective tools in diagnosing electrical problems. And in some cases, it may be the only test you need. But first, we have to understand what voltage drop testing is. Let's begin with a circuit. What is a circuit? Well, according to its definition, the word circuit means circle. The circle, or the circuit, must be complete or nothing's going to work. No voltage drop. A circle is a lot like a coin. It has heads and tails, two sides. And a circuit has two sides as well. It has the power and the ground. No one part of a circuit is any more important than the other. This then is a completed circuit. Of course you start with the battery and your circuit. There'll be the power and the ground. There'll be some type of fuse, a resistance like a motor, and a switch. Now when that switch is closed, the circuit is then complete. Remember the two-sided coin? Well the, here's the two-sided circuit. You have the power side and you have the ground side. This is the two-sided circuit. This makes good graphical sense. However, electrical diagrams are never drawn as a circle. They're always drawn as a straight line. So now let's look at that same circuit as a straight line. This is how we'll normally see it. But how does it become a circle? Well, you know the battery is always going to attach to the frame or the engine or both, and then the rest of your circuit will attach to the frame or perhaps the PCM ground, but somehow it'll connect back to ground. Now let's look at the battery. A battery is simply a box full of volts under pressure. It's a lot like a portable air tank under pressure. And that pressure provides the push to overcome the resistance. In a circuit, voltage is electrical pressure and resistance is electrical opposition to that pressure. Now remember, the purpose of volts is to overcome the resistance in the circuit. Now, once that pressure does overcome the opposition, nothing's left. We have zero volts. If the volts completely overcame the resistance, there should be nothing left over. The resistance in a good circuit should consume all of the volts, so the battery should drop all of the volts as it passes by the resistance, period. Since it consumes all of the volts as it passes by resistance, the voltage reading on the ground side should be zero. There's nothing left. So, on a good circuit, this then is what you should always expect from a voltage drop test. Here's your circuit, and anything from the battery positive to the load should have battery voltage, and anything on the ground side should have zero volts. If the reading on either side is not what you expect, then you have a problem on that side. So, when the pressure actually overcomes that opposition, Nothing's left. We have zero volts. But the circuit is working. The motor is running. So now we have to read amps.